Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going down? It is your boy, Matt Merced, man, and I'm here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 Legendary Animal Hunting Guide video for you guys today. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video here, simple and straightforward like this, is how you're going to be able to find the legendary pronghorn in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to be breaking down every single step you guys are going to need, so by the time you're done watching this video, you will be able to hunt this animal for yourselves with no problem whatsoever. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching the video. And what I'm go also going to be doing in this video is showing you guys what type of items you guys are going to be able to receive for actually finding this legendary pronghorn, uh, skinning him and selling his body and skin to the trapper. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching the video. Appreciate all the support. Uh, I think we have two more legendary animals to get. Actually, I have one more to get. I already caught the cougar. I'm ready to make a video for that. I just have to get the panther by completing the master hunter challenge. All right, guys, the legendary pronghorn, simple and straightforward like this. What you're going to want to do is open up your map here. The pronghorn is going to be in New Austin. The pronghorn is going to be located in between uh, Rio del Lobo Rock and Fort Mercer. It's going to kind of be near Lake Don Julio. Um, so just pull up to this location right here. You guys see on the map, this is the exact spot you guys are going to want to head to find this legendary pronghorn. Simple and straightforward like that. If you need to pause the video, you can definitely do so. Um, but, the, you know, with every legendary animal, what you have to do is find the clue. So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you guys exactly where you're going to find your first clue. So you guys can just pull up to this location to get started with this right away. Uh, the legendary pronghorn first clue is going to be located on the map right where the picture of the pronghorn is. As you can see on the screen, it's going to be right below its, its mouth. That's where you guys are going to want to find the first clue. So pull up to that location, and then you can start hunting this legendary pronghorn. Simple and straightforward like that. Okay, now once you guys actually pull up in this location, man, I, I learn always the hard way with everything I do in life. But to make your guys' lives very easy for this, make sure you guys pack the right weapons. A pronghorn is a, is a, a ram, so it's going to be a fast animal. Uh, make sure you guys pack a rifle. With express bullets, you could use regular bullets, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you guys are using a rifle that has at least, don't use the Springfield that has one bullet to the chamber. Use a repeater or your bolt action rifle. You could use pistols too. Um, make sure you guys equip the right weapons when you get off your horse. And make sure you pop some snake oil, miracle tonics, chewing tobacco, anything that's going to make your dead eye go up. You're going to need dead eye for this animal. Because as you guys, you guys are going to see in a little bit, when I actually was able to approach this animal, he winded up running away. And it took me a, it took me maybe 30 to 45 seconds to actually find him again. So no big deal. Make sure you guys, once you see this thing, blast him away, skin him. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. But follow the steps on the map. I know I've been talking. If you want to go back and check it out, uh, follow the same exact path you guys see me on the screen. Uh, open up your eagle eye. You're going to go, you're gonna go uh, clue by clue. I think there's going to be three clues until you guys reach the location of this pronghorn. Uh, not really too difficult, uh, just like every other legendary animal. So yeah, keep following the same path over here. Uh, make you know, keep in mind that in this area here, bro, it's going to be a lot of uh, you know tall grass, uh, some rocks, a little bit of bushes and trees. So when you guys first encounter this pronghorn, uh, depending on where you are, um, it's it's really going to depend on whether you see him in clear sight or not. When, when I pulled up to him, he was actually kind of hidden in, in bushes, as you guys are going to see in a couple of seconds. Um, and I tried to pull up the binoculars to get a better look at him. And once I was about to actually to put the binoculars away, uh, he decided to run away, man. It's going to be a white pronghorn, so pretty simple and straightforward like that. Once again, go back and see the same exact path I did or follow it for yourselves, as you guys already know how to hunt these animals. Okay, now once you guys actually find this animal, hunt him and kill him, I got a tip for you guys that I wish I would have known when I first started hunting every legendary animal. When you guys skin this animal, you could you could skin him and you could pick his uh, carcass up with no skin on it and you could bring it to the trapper and sell it for uh, two different prices, one for the actual pelt and one for the actual carcass. So you guys can skin this animal as well as stall him on your horse to get a, a bonus uh, for selling him. My recommendation, since this location is so far out of the way of any trappers, what you can do is you can go into the town of Armadillo after you uh, stole him on your horse, and you could head to any trapper location. I recommend St. Denny. I went to the one by Strawberry. 
I wasn't thinking about getting the trinket since the one in St. Denny has the trapper and the fence located near each other. Either way, go to a trapper. You know what I'm saying? I head to Armadillo, go to the stagecoach, travel to where you need to go. You don't have to worry about losing the skin or the pronghorn. Okay, so once you guys get into the trapper, man, you're going to want to sell the uh, carcass or the skin or both, whatever it is. And once you guys get into the trapper, uh, simple and straightforward like this, you're going to head over to the Huntsman Garment Set. You're going to be able to buy a pair of gloves, but you do need a perfect muskrat pelt to get these gloves. And the other item that you guys are going to be able to get is a uh, legendary coat, but you guys are going to need a moose uh, pelt to actually get the coat. So those are the two items you guys are going to get from actually skinning the animal. And now to, to keep moving on, head to the fence. Once you guys head to the fence, man, you're going to go into the craft section and you're going to look for the pronghorn uh, horn trinket, man. This trinket is going to make it so that anytime you stow animals on the back of your horse, they will no longer rot. So this is something you guys are going to want to get, man. Once again, with this trinket, anytime you hunt an animal and you stow them on the back of your horse, you won't have to worry about it rotting anymore. I'm hoping this video helped you guys out, man. Let's try to reach 500 subscribers. I think we're at 437. You guys can hit that like button. Just, you know, each like shows how many people uh, actually enjoyed the video and if it helped or not. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions or concerns, man. Thank you guys once again for watching the video. The legendary Cougar and how you can hunt him is coming soon, man. Thank you guys for watching once again. It's your boy, Matt Merced, and I'm out. Peace.